by James Clark Maxwell that he worked out in the 1850s. One, two, three, four equations. Now you see here there is one upside down triangle. That means vector differential. Then you see here there's a capital H. That means magnetic field. The capital E is electric field. And this P is very important. The P in the fourth equation is the scalar charge density. Okay, probably because it was very dangerous. For these two reasons, because he had a photographic memory and he was paranoid, for these two reasons, he never documented anything. So no one can discover the exact ideas behind his experiments in using scalar energy, which he called radiant energy. But there is a way to solve this mystery. It can be shown that Nikola Tesla probably got his original ideas from the work done by James Clark Maxwell in the 1850s. Check up on the ideas of Wallace Thornhill and David Talbot about the electric universe and you will soon see that these four equations shout of an electric universe. Why then did the scientists not understand this in the 1850s. The reason is simple. Physics was then dominated by the paradigm of the Marquis de la Place, who was, according to the teddy bear here, he was uh, a distant relative of the Marquis de Sade. That's what the teddy bear says, okay? La Place is a pedigree holy cow. In the simplest non-mathematical terms, what these equations are saying is that what we think of as time, what we think of as time, is a vast ocean of energy. We move through that energy and experience it bit by bit. But a given amount of energy can be extracted from a given amount of time passing. Just as Einstein discovered E equals mc squared, which told us that matter was solidified energy from which the energy could be extracted, so Maxwell discovered that time itself is an ocean of energy, and that this energy could be extracted from the passage of time. It is true that the passage of time is a psychological phenomenon, but if Maxwell is right, it must be in sync with some system of distributing energy by the universe. Why isn't that light on? Putting energy by the universe. That system is what we now recognize as free energy. It is only free because the energy is not being extracted from matter, but from the passage of time. So far, there is no financial charge on the passage of time, except for some forms of taxation, rent, and a few other recurring overheads. 
So it is free in terms of the use of raw materials such as fuel. But is it really free? Not if you only have a given amount of time at your disposal. People say time is money because it takes a certain amount of time to earn money. And because passage of time is bound to incur financial expenses. If we look at money as a form of energy, which it is, then the interconnections become clear. As regards why Nikola Tesla was paranoid, I think it was because he was so intelligent. Any highly intelligent man living today is bound to get more than a little paranoid. Look at Graham Hancock, for example. Highly intelligent people can only avoid paranoia in one of two ways. Either by being young and innocent, like most of you, or by getting so old, like me, that they have found out that none of it really matters. Okay.